This is a uh, little introduction to one of my favorite freeware programs. This is called Space Engine, and it is truly, of all the programs I've ever played with on the PC, um, this is truly a piece of of work. It's it's a marvelous. Uh, astronomy program to play with. So um, we're just going to do, I'm trying to keep this at just five minutes. And I've already blown a minute. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're, we notice we have some numbers here. Uh, this program allows you to create virtual universes, but also use real data, which is what we're using now. So we're going to use the navigation keys to kind of zoom in and what we see down below there in the lower kind of towards the right is the moon and whoa we just went right by the planet earth so that's because we can set the velocity with the mouse wheel and I'm setting it down you can see here it's four miles per second feet per second you can see that's very slow feet per second we'll jack it up a little bit more more, 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 more. <laughs> okay, there we got some movement. So, right, you can see, let's see, 2,000 miles per second. So, 2,000 miles per second, we're, let me jack that up a little bit, 4,000 miles per second, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 miles per second. And um, so there she is, our beautiful planet with some overlays. These are not really real time, but um, there are, I think there are some plugins that do provide that kind of data if you want. But this is good enough for playing around. There's our sun see and this is very cool to see how those crescents are created by these angles you can move your mouse around right now I'm moving the mouse around holding down the uh, the right mouse key it's basically an eclipse right there and this is probably some data from NASA compiled from a lot of flyovers in the night scenes with the electric lights of the cities. But it's really beautiful. Milky Way in the background. Uh, very bright here. You can see a lot of data here about our this particular planet. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of zoom out of our solar system. Just kind of have a view. I'm just using the basic navigation keys again. The uh, the speed can be controlled by rolling the mouse wheel. So you'll notice the further you get out, the faster you have to go to really see what's going on. So I'm really increasing it. We're into light years now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the orbits. So what you see now is actually the orbit of the Earth and the Moon. The green line represents Earth's orbit around the Sun. And you can see these other converging lines are orbits of our other planets of our solar system. And now I'm going to really increase the speed because we're coming up on five minutes and uh, that's what I want to keep this one at. And we're just going to keep going out and you can see So most of the planets of our solar system. I'm going to kind of move around a little bit, give a better sense of the orbits. And now I'm going to really jack up the speed. 7,000. Uh, is it light years per second traveling? Now I'm just keep going.
until it just becomes somewhat of a, a dot until the next one this is uh, I'll consider this number one <laughs> number one of one or no number one of who knows right 